Today, um, what we're going to do is to show you how to play uh, The Horse With No Name Strum. It's one of those songs uh, from back in the 70s that um, had a very distinctive strum pattern. And the chords are, were a little unusual too. And um, I'm going to show you the first couple of chords um, and then I'm going to show you how the strum works. Now, a lot of strum patterns um, actually go beyond one measure. In other words, they take two or more measures to complete the whole pattern. And this is one of those cases. In this particular strum, uh, the first half is um, uh, a regular, sounds like a regular strum, and one I've demonstrated before, but I'll show it again. The second half, the second measure, is what makes it a little different. Um, so I'm going to break it down for you. And uh, what we're going to do is we're just going to use one chord. We're going to use E minor, which happens to be the first chord in the progression. So if you remember how to play E minor, um, it's just two fingers right here. The second chord we're eventually going to learn uh, is very close to that. These two fingers just split apart. But we're going to do the whole strum, learn the whole strum, just using E minor first. That's the best way to do it. Don't uh, try to do chord changes if you're getting used to a new strum. Just take one chord and practice the strum with the one chord. And then later on you can insert other chords in the whole thing. So <clears throat> starting with E minor, the first half of the, uh, of the chord progression is just a one, two, and three, and four, and. So I'm going to demonstrate that to you first. Um, you can download this uh, sheet uh, if you want to by going to my website. So if you're watching this on YouTube, just click the link to my website and you'll be able to download this, um, print it out for yourself, or at least look at it in a larger view. Okay, so E minor is the chord we're going to use. And if I take the strum pattern, I'm just going to hold my hand up here. Um, the strum pattern is just down, So I'll count that out, and you can do it with me a few times, okay? Three, and four, and one, two, and three, and four. Okay, we'll do it again just one time through, and then we'll try to do it in a loop. Okay, here we go. Two, and three, and four, and one, two, and three, and four, and... Okay, so if you need to, go back over this part of the video and try it again um, as we just do it one time through. But now we're going to try to do it in a loop, okay? Very slowly. So here we go. Three and four and one, two and three and four and one, two and three and four and one, two did it about four times there. The second half is the interesting part of the um, of the strum. So you'll notice here in the first of uh, the first measure we only really skip strumming one time that first time we come up. That's the ghost strum as I call it. <clears throat> and the second time we actually skip two down strums so that's a little bit different. Now if I do it without a chord at all, it's going to sound like this. One and 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 four and like that. So I'm going to do it now uh, with an E minor so you can hear how it sounds with E minor. Three and four and down, up, up, and four. Okay, so let's do that again. Two, three, four, one, and, 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 four. It's a little odd just doing upstrokes sometimes, so this may take a little longer to actually uh, get used to. But we're going to do it again a couple of times through, just singularly, and then we'll do it in a loop so you get used to the feel of the strum. Here we go. Three, and four, and one. 
I'll try it again. Three and four and one. One more time, three and four and one and four. Okay, so now we're going to try to do it in a bit of a loop. Okay, so <clears throat> just if you get lost, stop and go back to the singular one. So just so you can try it through one one measure at a time. But here we go, three and four and one. Now, of course, the whole strum um, goes together. The two measures go together. And there's the chord change right before the second measure. But what we're going to do, as I said earlier, is we're just going to do it with E minor. And I'll show you uh, what it sounds like. So no changing chords. It sounds like this. One. the whole strum pattern two measures long now I'm going to show you you can we will do it again a couple times through in a loop but I'm going to show you what it sounds like with the other chord this is called a d6 9 I think or some weird name <clears throat> all you have to do is split these two fingers apart um, I'll demonstrate how it sounds first here we go three and four and one start hearing it the way it's supposed to sound in the actual song. So let's uh, go in a loop again just with E minor and try to do that uh, full strum pattern, that full two measure strum pattern. Okay, we'll do it a couple of times. Here we go. Three and four and one. Actually, um, is a little slow. It's probably more like that. So the last thing we're going to do is we're going to slow that down and actually do the chord change this time. And that's the way always to break it down whenever you're learning a new strum. Simplify it, simplify it. Don't change chords right away. Just do part of the strum, learn part of the strum, and get comfortable with it. Uh, and then add the rest if you can. And then work in the chord changes. That way you just work learning on one little thing at a time instead of trying to overwhelm yourself and do everything at once, which is not the best way to do it. So here we go. So we're going to do the, t the chord changes, the two chords, the E minor and the D6-9. I'm going to go slowly. Um, you can try it out if you like. If you need to, you can go back to the beginning of the video and just work on the parts that you're comfortable with. And then when you're ready, just try it this way. Here we go. Three and four and one, two and three and switch. other chords in the song which I haven't shown you in this video but uh, if you email me I'll show you what they are you might be able to find them on the web anyway um, and they are treated in exactly the same way there's only four chords in the song the E minor is the most co common one the other chords are a little strange but <clears throat> anyway hopefully uh, that will give you a little bit of a start in playing horse with no name <laughs>